Nice be reversal. Be all bow off needs every other hit right now. So he can take this and game. that. And Julio wins the tournament. It Julio. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Born Free here, and I am here with Julio Fuentes. How you doing, man? Are you enjoying E3? Oh man, first E3 ever, and uh, I'm having a blast, man. Having a blast. So this E3, what we've got to see is story mode, uh, which I, I don't know if you're interested in that or not. I, no, I, not at all. Not at all. Me as a casual player, I am. Yes. Uh, but uh, Ibuki, uh, have you had a chance? Don't care about her either. Don't care about her at I all. just don't care about Ibuki. Have you yeah. looked at her and said, she's scary? Oh, or? no. I, I mean, I looked at her and I'm just like, oh, it's just a, you know, a very buttons -y character and a very com combo heavy. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm more simpler now, you know? And I, I've gone through that phase of playing a character with mix-up potential and uh, custom combos and all that. Uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, she's just not appealing to me. I know a lot of people love Ibuki. I'm not an Ibuki hater. I just uh, don't care. I mean, care. she's a rushdown character. She's rushdown, I like that. But you know, I used to be all rushdown. And uh, right now I'm having fun with the game because I'm learning the opposite end of rushdown. Oh, interesting. You know, well, the defensive well, play, which, which is a journey I'm on right now, and I love it. It's really fun. But Ibuki, not so appealing to me. She's a cool character, though. I, the bombs and stuff, very cool. Okay, so we'll get into, we'll talk about Ken in a little bit. Um, let's talk about the game. I love the game no matter what. Um, I'm not a negative person. I'm really, really optimistic. So uh, every Street Fighter, even though every Street Fighter I played has had bullshit in it, it never really, I never even cared about it. I never even gave the bullshit a thought. I just love Street Fighter. So people right now, there's negative opinions, positive opinions, but I, I love the game because this game, things are, are more important. There's less things and they matter a lot more. There's less decisions going on, but they're more critical decisions. And uh, I like that. Um, also, this game, you know, people complain about the A-frame lag. Yeah. You know, I, yep. I know it's there, but the way I interpret that is uh, I just have to get the, the input delay up here to my hand needs to be faster. That's how I look at it. If you're seeing the A-frames are lag, like, if you think about it, at the end of the day, it's three frames. Like, it's, it's a difference, I know, but, like, think of extra, it this way. Extra three frames. Yeah, like, like imagine the A-frame lag existed in your head from your brain to your hand. Just lower that to five frames, you know? Lower the input delay from from yourself like be faster improve yourself you know because uh ken we have to hit confirm obviously right and there's no shortcut you know there's really no shortcut you just got to keep drilling it keep trying to react faster keep trying to react faster and you know eventually your brain will wire itself and it's going to improve it's going to notice those, those neural pathways will light up enough and then they're going to get faster everything that all the signals that go through those neural pathways just get boosted you know so with practice uh they're going to improve so yeah you can definitely react to stuff in this game and i react to stuff all the time and a lot of Ken players do. I think people are just, they're just not hard on themselves enough, you know? All right, so let's talk about Ken a little bit then. People are starting to say Ken's the best character in the game. And I think that is based on sort of more and more of a sense of understanding of the game's mechanics, the A-frame lag, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. And a lot, there is a lot of people playing Ken and doing pretty well. Uh, you can't deny that. So, yeah. like, what are your thoughts? thoughts on it what how do, do i think? feel about ken well you know what in the beginning of time everyone said ken was the bad character right yes and uh absolutely. that was the accepted uh that was the convention ken's a bad character he's not good but i feel like over time you know the ken players that are playing was showing the the, the potential right now no matter what if you show the character's potential people are going to interpret that as broken or up there in the tier list when in reality all we were doing is just optimizing our character a lot of people right now even with their own characters don't optimize and th therefore their characters don't look as great as they should and you know me I'm, I'm all about being optimal and um, I felt that in the beginning as I played Ken I, I was doing his optimal combos right off the bat and of course they were very very painful devastating combos so I think they are they are that made people they are. <laughs> that I, made... I don't like getting hit by Ken's super oh, it's the dude. most it's the most mentally draining super to get hit by yeah, I and then, and then he, put, he gets in that sweet spot afterwards and just fireballs you yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, people right now, they, they, they don't like Ken. A lot of people don't like Ken. Uh, they don't like that they get hit by Ken because, you know, the A-frame input lag oh, you're screwed. makes I mean, them more susceptible. And yeah. if their reactions aren't really fine, then you're going to get Kenned. You know, so uh, I, I understand the, the sentiment. I understand why people feel the way they do. But, you know, when you're a tournament player and you look at it and you break it down, you're like, 
these game players are taking a lot of risks. I'm going to break them down. But it's the tournament player that does that to us. And when we fight those guys, it doesn't seem like Ken's broken anymore. It feels like it's we're just playing a really crappy character with no normals, you know? So, so I mean, do you think Ken is like a, a top tier character? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? In my head, I always put him at seventh best. I never said he was bad. That's really specific. Very specific, I know, right? <laughs> like, I feel like he's at seventh, and then with the right play style, you bring him up to like top three if you're really? in the zone, you know? I okay. feel like I have this, my own tier list, I have, I have this thing called, I call a variable tier. And okay. to me, Ken is a variable tier where he's as good as you are. He's as good as you are. Granted, he has some cheap tools. Um, he's going to be as good as you are. At high level, it's really all about you. Because um, just real quick, um, there's a beginner way to play Ken and an advanced way to play Ken. The the beginner way is uh, stand round as you get a crush counter, you run and you uppercut, and you get fat damage real, for a simple decision, yeah. right? And uh, the advanced way to play Ken, you don't do the roundhouse as often. You know, it's risky, blah, blah, blah. You try to go for confirms more often. So. Uh, there's a basic way to play him and an, uh, an advanced way to play him. And when people lose in the basic way, they get real mad. Because, like, oh, this Ken's not even thinking. He's just doing roundhouse and running, and, and oh, it's not I even know. thinking, you know? It sucks. So uh, it sucks. you're going to interpret, the, depending on your experience, you're going to have a really negative interpretation of Ken or a positive one, you know? But um, I've been through it. I see it. And do you have bad matchups? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes. Like, what, uh, are your, what are your bad matchups? Chun, Karen, and Nash. Most well, hardest matchups. Okay. Are there characters that you'd like to see in this game? Yoon. Yoon, yeah. Yoon, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I had yeah. to see Yoon on... Yeah. I had to see him in uh, 2K resolution on highest settings and, like, the Unreal Engine. I need to see that. I need to see that. Because I've seen Third Strike Yoon, right? The cartoon character drawn by hand, right? Sure. Yeah. I've seen Street Fighter 4 Yoon. Amazing, right? But Unreal Engine 4... Street Fighter 5 Yoon? Oh, my God. Like, I can only imagine how beautiful the Ganagian is gonna look, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's I have my hopes for Yoon. I, I, I pray that Yoon is in the game. And I feel like Capcom should do it because he brings the crowd hype, you know? He has the, the A, 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 the juggles, you know? Yeah. And that's a that's esports right there. People want to see that, you know? It's true, you know? Like the hypest thing right, right now is Guile's like... The loops, right? Yeah, the loops. So people like that. They, like I, Capcom needs to know that their audience likes seeing stuff like that, so... If I played you and I would be doing the juggles, the crowd would get super hyped. Like, they're going to love it. More viewers, you know? Like, oh, now people are going to be like, I just want to see that crazy custom combo, the Ganagian. I want right. to see it.